Hey everyone, what's up? Alright, so part two of the top motor mount video. So like I said in the previous one, I screwed up on the cut and wound up having to toss that piece to the side. So back to square one, but yeah. So I went to Ace Hardware in my home in my town here, like I said I was going to. The nuts and bolts I got metric bolts metric nuts and they're nylock nuts like I was saying about nylock nylock and a thread locker and then six washers you know one for both sides for all three bolts and nuts now all told for those three nuts and bolts and six washers maybe three dollars and fifty cents whereas you know order through Honda I mean who knows how much it could be I haven't looked it up but I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere around you know somewhere ten or twenty dollars a bolt so you do the math <laughs> anyway so I'm doing the template again and I had an epiphany an old school hole puncher I don't know why I didn't think of this before when I needed to flush cut the holes out of the template so yeah use that now I will say this I put the template on the motor mount and then used two of the bolts to float through these two holes and then I put tape on the third one because it wasn't like lining up as perfectly as I wanted it to. So put the bolts through, like I said I covered it with tape and then just took a sharpie and if you can see that, just sharpied in where I could see light coming through and then kind of went up and around into the cardboard where I couldn't see light coming through and kind of use the swag theory of you know hey this is where I need to you know do what I need to do and for those who don't know swag means the scientific wild ass guess so yeah now um, I did want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine uh, he's a, a bike a DIY bike builder and fabricator out of England his name's he runs a uh, channel on YouTube called Del Boy's Garage and he builds a lot of cool stuff a lot of interesting stuff and does a lot of tips and tricks and I've watched his videos for a couple of years now and some of his stuff that he you know kind of showcases and explains I never would have thought to do I've actually learned a lot from the guy I consider him a friend and kind of a mentor and you know so I mean I knew stuff like this because I did stuff like this in motorcycle school but I mean he showcases what it takes to do stuff like this and you know how time-consuming it can be if you you know go about the long way of doing it and yeah so hey Del what's up and but yeah just want to give a shout out to him and so yeah I'm gonna hole punch this out and then come back after I draw it into the plate steel and we'll go from there and start cutting and hopefully I'll get it right this time so yeah see you in a bit
Kevner. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. I'll come back later. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, sorry for the lawn mower in the background. One of my neighbors is mowing the lawn, so it is what it is. Anyway, so now this isn't completely finished. I haven't painted it, haven't done anything like that. I've just knocked off the edges with a grinder and a hand file, but here we go. So, so far it's in the shape that I want it and I'm fixing to test mount it on the bike and see where it sits. Now, if I did it right, hopefully it should just bolt right into place and I shouldn't have to shave anything, but I mean, this is test fitting. Anything could happen. I could have to shave just a little bit off the bottom. I could just have to shave just a little bit off the top, round a corner over, who knows? But there's one done. Now I'm not gonna bother cutting both of them, you know, and da 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 da. I'm gonna put this one up on the bike and show what it looks like with it mounted and see where we're sitting at. Now, what I'm planning on doing is having the plate, it's the diamond pattern shown to the outside of the bike, have the flat part to the inside of the bike because that makes more sense. And plus, you know, once it's painted, you know, when it's cleaned up and painted, it'll look better and I want this to kind of be on display because I mean if Dell my buddy from England if he was here he'd say the same damn thing he'd rather have the diamond plates I'd show because that shows off like a little bit more of an artistic flair to it so yeah all right so let's put it on the bike see what it looks like oh okay everyone so at the time of filming this I haven't gotten a new camera stand so I'm just gonna have to hold it by hand for a little bit but Let's go ahead and get one of the bolts into the holes and at least get it test fitted for the most part. All right, here, let me put this down so I can get both hands in there. Okay, everyone, so this is Wyatt, all grown up. He's two now. Can you say hi, Wyatt? Can you say hi? okay he's being him all right so here's here's what's up people the plate top two holes are fine the bottom hole is off so round three I'm gonna have to do that in another video because yeah so what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard or you know and I'm gonna put it up there and float the bolt holes through it first then I'm gonna cut it to shape you know with a pair of scissors then I'll cut it out on a piece of plate steel because I can't keep doing this I got a limited amount of plate steel you know it's a decent sized piece and yeah so but again this is a process I know you know what I said in the earlier video about you know doing you know measuring twice cutting once but sometimes this kind of stuff happens. It's a learning process. And, you know, I mean, Dell can tell you this just like I'll tell you this. You know, you can do this for 30 years, but you can still screw up sometimes. You know, not to mention the fact that anyone who says that they're a master at fabrication or anything else, all right, yeah, you can be a master. But if they try to say, oh, well, I know everything there is to know about this stuff, that's when you know that they ain't worth listening to. Because any real master of any discipline will tell you there's always something new to learn there's always a new trick there's always a new tip that's coming out something that they haven't thought of something they haven't seen someone else has done there you never stop learning and neither will he all right so I'm gonna leave it there and yeah so we'll, I'll come back to this another time in the next video I'm probably gonna yeah. just mock up the rear fender and I'll drill the holes for the turn signals where the old reflectors used to be so yeah so this was a bust but it wasn't that much time wasted you know learned where I needed to go what I needed to fix what I needed to do different so may have been a little bit of material wasted but Learned a couple lessons in the long run, so not a complete waste. All right, bye.